God dang, this thing looks ridiculous. Look at that. All right, what's going on everybody? Wally G here. So I recently got the Split Pad Pro. And I'm assuming if you're on this video, you know what they are, but for those who don't know what they are, basically they're a bare bones Joy-Con split in half. Um, so they don't have any rumble, they don't have the IR, they don't have an internal battery. So you cannot use them disconnected. You can only use them in hand held mode. And overall, I really like this product. And I don't think I'm gonna go back to um, any other grips for the to the switch. I think I'm basically gonna keep these. There are a few cons, but basically it's what I already said. All right, so let's start off what I like most about the product. First of all, um, it is a Damon X Machina, Damon Cross Machina. I don't know, I don't, I don't plan to play the game. I just got it because I wanted something um, because I'm a handheld player, I exclusively play in handheld unless I'm... The only time I really don't play my Switch in handheld is if I'm capturing footage. So, basically the Switch is a handheld system to me, and I wanted something to make it feel better. I have the Switch, uh, excuse me, the Satisfy Grip, um, but I wanted something that actually changed the Joy-Cons and um, the buttons to make it bigger and just feel better in my hand. So first off, what I like most is that this is actually an official licensed Nintendo product. Now that I'm against third parties um, products, like I just said, I have the Satisfy Grip. There are some people saying that that scratches their Switch Joy-Cons as they take it in and out of the grip. That hasn't happened to me, but like I said, I just keep it in there. But now, from now on out, I'm just gonna use these. I don't think I'm gonna use the grip that much anymore, maybe in specific cases. And since this is an official product, you can dock the Switch while these are still attached, which is great because I, with anything else that makes it more ergonomic, you're not, you're probably not gonna be able to still dock the switch. But when you are undocked using the Split Pad Pro, it just, it feels so good. The buttons are just so big. Um, they're, the, the joysticks actually have a nice little concave to them. Um, I usually use a uh, little grip over my um, Joy-Con stick, especially on the PS4. Um, but with this one, I don't even know if I have to, but if I were to use the, wanted to use those grips, they would fit on this as well, just because it's a full size joystick and it, and it just feels right. It travels the right distance. It's way better than the standard Joy-Cons. I, I love the standard Joy-Cons, but this just feels like I'm gaming normally. And what is best about that is I've gone back and played first person shooters. I went and played Paladins and Warframe. Um, I even went back and tried Fortnite again, just cause I wanted to see how it felt on this. And it feels, like it should basically um i went back and try to play a game of paladins with the standard joy cons and i didn't even make it through i just threw them off and threw these back on just i was gonna try to make it through just for the video but i was like i'm i'm no i can't go back now i'm kind of ruined it's a good thing because i'm gonna go back and i might i'm okay to play first person shooters or more twitchy games on this um i'm gonna play outer wilds on excuse me outer worlds on this everybody does that I'm gonna play Outer Worlds on this. I'm gonna go back and maybe play more Cuphead, even though I played through Cuphead in the Joy-Cons. Um, it just feels better on this, those twitchy movements, this fast movements, it just feels so much better on this. So obviously you can kind of tell that I like this and the, and the downfalls kind of outweigh the benefits of using this product, but let's get into the couple of downfalls for me so far. So first off, it's just, it's big. It, it's, they are freaking huge. So. If you don't have a large case, like I, I bought a large case just to hold my charger. So they do fit in this case. I bought this one on, on Amazon. It was one of the cheaper ones. Um, this is, it's a Tom Talk, I think, but that, that's just, just a standard case that I've seen from other brands. So I, these Joy-Cons actually fit in the top of that. Like I said, I bought that to fit the charger in and I threw that in there. So they're just big. They're just, I mean, that's just the first downfall. But like I said, I have that case, so it kind of solves that problem for me. The other thing is, when I first took these out of the case, they're, they're extremely light. And I, at first I thought, these are kind of fragile. Obviously I'm not gonna drop test it or anything. If you were to drop it, I don't know how these would take it. But they seem sturdy, even though they seem light. But them being light is also kind of a benefit as well, because when you're holding it while you're playing it with the Switch, it doesn't add that a whole lot of weight to it, which is great. And the last problem for me is they do have these paddle buttons on the back what they call FL and FR. I don't really use these buttons, but as you can see where my hands rest on this, it's it's way, you can see on my fingerprints, but where my hands rest, it's not really, like to use those 
those paddle buttons, I feel like, um, you know, instead of playing like this, I feel like I had to turn my hands and kind of the claw in a way. But like I said, that's not, those problems aren't that big of a deal to me. Um, this, these, this just feels so good. And um, going forward, I'm gonna keep using this. So they are officially licensed, like I said, they're made by Hori, which also make the left um, Joy-Con. They have a the Zelda one, the, this is the Mario one. I think they have a Pikachu one. It's, it's, this is, they're $49.99, they're, I don't know, they're a little pricey, I feel like the Nintendo controllers are just on the expensive end, um, they always have been, and, and I feel like $49.99 for this might be a little expensive, but, I don't know, for me, I would buy them again, I mean, price, and the cost of things kind of is subjective to each person, but, I mean, I would save up and get these, and just if they, if they run on sale, um, I would buy them. I think this started out at 25. It's kind of standard 20, and I think I just saw it drop to 15 somewhere. So if you ever saw a price drop on this, I would I would jump on it and I would get it right away. Because not only is it a great product, there it's the standard Joy-Con size. So I feel that you know any if they make a bigger switch, if they make a smaller switch like the Switch Lite, but that can actually detach the Joy Cons, this should work going forward. Where something like the Satisfy Grip. If they change the size of the switch at all, this isn't going to work anymore. The switch isn't going to fit in there. So, I don't know. Overall, I think this is great and I recommend it. Um, it's been the best for me. I tried the grips. I tried just using the standard Joy-Cons. But this, I think, is going to be my go-to going forward. So, with that being said, I got nothing else to say. Um, thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are going to get it. There goes my phone. Alright y'all, see ya.